Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie Connis, and I'm here to tell you about when to worry about bumps and bruises in your child. All children will get bumps and bruises at some point in their childhood. If they didn't, they wouldn't be normal, healthy kids. But when are they more concerning than other times? The main thing we worry about is bumps and bruises in very young children. So in young infants that are not mobile yet, we call them pre-mobile infants, so generally they're less than four or five months old, they really shouldn't be getting bumps and bruises because they're not doing anything yet that would cause them to get injured, like crawling or walking or cruising when they're walking holding on to something. So if you're noticing bruising anywhere on the body in your very young infant, that would be something that you'd want to get checked out by your doctor or by coming into the emergency department. And the bruises anywhere on a body in a child that young, we would worry potentially they could have something like a bleeding disorder. And there's a wide range of different types of bleeding disorders. Or we might worry that they have sustained some type of trauma. Maybe while they were in somebody else's care or some type of accident. So potentially we might do some more uh, lab tests to be concerned for a bleeding disorder or we might do some x-rays or other imaging to look for other sources of trauma. But in those really young infants, that's where we get the most concern. In older kids, once they become mobile and they're running around, and especially when they're learning to walk and they're falling and banging their head, we expect to see some bruises. But where we primarily expect to see them is over areas with bones that they might fall and hit. So a bruise on the forehead when they're learning to walk, or bruising on their elbows, or pretty much every toddler has bruising on their lower legs and shins, and that's all totally normal and developmentally appropriate. In older kids, we start to get more concern if we see bruising on soft tissue parts of the body, such as the neck, or the belly, or the buttocks, or the soft part of your cheek, not over the bone. Then again, we might start to worry about uh, an illness leading to bruising, maybe an infection, or something else that might be leading to a difficulty with the blood clotting. Again, we also might worry about some type of trauma to your child. Any time that you're concerned about bruising on your children, give your pediatrician a call or come into the emergency department for an evaluation. But all kids will have some bumps and bruises and that can be normal if they're running around.